Okay, so this video is going to be regarding probability. Now this question here is asking what the value of these question marks are. Now let's, just, let's assume that there was a professor that found over the course of several years that there was a probability distribution of this on for, well, for his students on a certain test. So how would we go about finding the probability of a student getting, let's say, probability of a student of a student getting something that's greater than C plus. Uh, let's, let's say greater than or equal to C plus. What is that probability? So so really what you what you need to do here is solve it algebraically. Now because we have two unknowns, the only thing we can do is assume that they are equal. So the first thing we're going to be doing is finding the probability of a student getting something greater than this, a score greater than this. So what we need to do, because these are this is a probability distribution, meaning all of these values here, this value, this value, they're all probabilities of some of a student getting that particular grade. So to get the probability of a student getting a C or a B or a B plus or an A or so forth, we just have to add up the probabilities of getting each of those. And you'll get, a, you get, you get an overall probability of a student getting something that's greater than C or equal to it. Let's get started. It's going to be 0 0.08 add 0 0.17 add some value we don't know. So let's denote that as K. Let's use, the, let's use the variable or the letter K to represent the, the unknowns here. So that value, add 0 0.13, which is going to be the probability of getting a B, then add C or C plus. Since we don't know it, we put another K there. And that's that we're going to be adding all of this, and this would give us the probability. But since we don't know what the K values are, and we know that the, the, the addition or the total of all of these values right here of a probability distribution is going to equal 1. Now using that knowledge, if we were to add, let's say, all of these grades up, it should equal 1. We can use that calculation to find the variables first, then we can use the calculation here to actually find the, act the answer we need. So then our goal for right now is going to be to add all of these up here and make them, make them all equal to 1. So we stop that C+, plus. We're, going to have to, we're going to have to continue adding 0.22 and 0 0.09 as well as 0 0.07 but I'm running out of room so I'm just going to grab all of these drag them just over there and so add 0 0.07 now all of this is going to be equal to 1 so if we try to simplify this just add up all these 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 numerical values and add, add up the k values we would get something like 0 0.76 add 2k is equal to 1 now we just do some algebra and get 2k is equal to 1 subtract 0.7.6, or rather 2k is going to equal to 0.24. Then we divide by we divide by 2 to get a k value. Divide this by 2, and we get a k value equal to 0.12. So we know what our k values are going to be, and like I said initially, now that we know our k value, we can actually f answer the question. All we need to do is add up the probabilities all right here, from the C plus all the way to the A plus. So I believe C plus is where we stopped, and that was that would be around here, I believe. So let, let me just erase that so I don't have to rewrite everything. So the addition of 0 0.08, which is A plus, and 0 0.17, which is A, just the letter A in general, and then K, which is unknown, all of this is going, let's simplify this first off. Let's add up all these individual values right here. Let me just move this up a bit. Mm, that's good. And let's let's clear this this down here. We don't really need that. Okay. So if we simplified this, we would get we would get 0 0.38 add 2k is equal to something. Our answer. Now that we know the k value, it's going to be 2 multiply 0 0.12 add 0 0.38 is going to be equaling our answer. And if you did the cal or not sorry, it's not zero. Um, if you actually did the calculation, you would get 0 0.62. And that is the probability of a student getting something that's equal to Z or equal to C or greater. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them in a rather hasten manner. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.